Hello and welcome back to another pretty HD video. Today we have another career mode video, but this time with a difference. It's about a glitch in career mode, or rather not a glitch, an advantage, if you like, um, and how to seek this advantage. Uh, in all honesty, this is just a test career mode that I've made, um, being Melbourne City, of course. Um, don't know why I chose them, just decided to choose these in the A-League. You simulate quicker in the A-League, of course. But that's all just background information. I just like to see how players grow, etc, etc. And they are all put into videos. Of course, I have already got my uh, career mode tips and tutorials through my um, full potential squad, uh, player reviews. So go and check them out if you're interested in uh, career mode stuff. Either way, I have also use this career mode to start about other videos such as how to find the best regens and how to scout them but for now something that was made aware to me by MGH and SGH Sports is this basically the best way to scout youth players now I know a lot of you would have already knew about this now because MGH did it and you're probably like why on earth am I doing it well it's just not for the, just the sake of doing it, but anybody who isn't aware for any somehow reason, which I don't think is likely, um, then just in case. And so I get my own version of it on YouTube in a way so I can continue and start this series in my own way, which will eventually become to be unique. Anyway, here is my youth system here at Melbourne. I have a few players which I've recently scouted. Um, some of them are good. He looks amazing. Uh, Nico Laos. He looks awesome. you got Boric, who looks okay. But, you see, you've got a very broad range of stats. And the more you scout them, the better in-depth you get of these. But look at that. 46 to 90 on acceleration on Aymeric. On Nicolas, you have 40 to 76 on agility. It's a very broad term, and you don't really have a clue about his rating either. 63 to 81 starting rating. 81 starting rating would be awesome. 63, not so much. You know, it's going to be somewhere around 68 to 75. You know, that's not going to max out. It's not going to low out. But you still don't know. It's a very, well, almost 20 broad turn there's 18 stats different there um and then you have the potential as well which could turn out differently so i don't know whether they've implemented this on purpose but there's a glitch whether this is a glitch or not well this tells me that it's a glitch so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to remember your youth academy players names so in my case it's nico laos and you'll see that he appears on the database even though he hasn't been promoted and looking at his team name I well that tells me that this is a glitch but whether they've almost on purposely accidentally implemented this well who knows because he's part of your squad maybe this is why but this is how you scout them correctly the global transfer network this year means that it allows you to scout players without having to um, guess their overall. You can scout them to their very overall, which was always what I suggested. I always suggested masked overalls to that, but that's a whole different subject. Which means if you scout them, you eventually end up with this. Nicolas has already been one that I've already done, and you can see that he is awesome. 72 rated at the age of 17, worth 1.6 million. He's got some very, very good stats, and he has potential to be special, which tells me that he has a 90 plus overall. He is certainly a player which I'd be interested in. The weird thing is, I can inquire about him, so I've never done this before. Let's try it and see what happens later. But just to prove that this isn't a one off, if you take another player's name, for example, Borek. Let's go with Borek. There, it works again. Um, a player that isn't even over the age of 16, and it works. This also means that your national team, if you manage his national team, which is Spain, you can go ahead and use him in your squad even under... 16, so of course sometimes you get 14-year-old scout reports back, 
So this is what comes back from team name Abra15112264. They basically say that he's just recently joined us at Asterix and then the team name. So we're not interested in allowing, in discussing his availability at this time. And then the best part about it regards the youth ranks his manager. So that tells me EA have on purposely put this in. Otherwise, how would the game know? How would the game code to know that he is in your youth system if he's just randomly on the database? Well, the team name tells you that they don't, but that tells me that they do. So that's very, very weird. I think they might have put this in on purpose and pretended to put it in accidentally for us to discover, for people like me to put it on YouTube, stuff like that. Um, it's almost a hidden gem in the career mode and it almost makes it really interesting discovering your own little glitches in the game. Just to prove this was a live one, there we go, here's Boric. You can't sign him directly from here, which is also an interesting thing. Um, and here's the rest of the youth players. They actually are separated on purposely. You got my young Jew here, and of course the out and out winner, Nicolas, who looks very, very good in fact, and only if he was in my Everton career, which by the way, go and check that out. So this is the glitch, and I've showed you how to do it. It's very, very, very easy. So go ahead and do it. Even if a player is brand new to your youth system, it's a way of signing players under less strain and it's a great way of finding out their overall before you've even signed them up and getting a more direct basis on how good they're going to be. Of course, here you can see with Nicholas that if we go ahead and go over to the shortlist, then you can see that Nicholas, we can see all his stats, and again, I'm noticing that his physical attributes isn't as good, which is a reoccurring thing in youth players, so I will be making a video on how youth players grow soon, but you can see all his attacking work rates, his defensive work rates, which aren't bad for a centre mid, it's quite good, his positions, again, great central player, his height, his weak foot and skill moves, which again aren't bad, so really, this player is a very, very good youth player player and it's a shame that he's only in a test career mode anyway do thank you for watching if you did enjoy make sure you smash the like button hit like to show your support for these tutorials it's really the first of my proper tutorials except for player reviews on a career mode series of course i've got about three new ones coming in to your bat big faces um not saying your faces are big but anyway i do love you guys I do thank you for watching and I will see you next time.